I now give the floor to the distinguished ambassador of Sri Lanka. Uh, thank you, Ambassador Banco Conde, for giving me the floor. <clears throat> Mr. Chair, my delegation takes this opportunity to extend warm felicitations to you and the members of the Bureau and assure our fullest support and cooperation during this session. Mr. Chair, it is an accepted fact that the world faces an unprecedented setback in socio-economic development since the Second World War. And the decades of gains and untold resources risk being wiped away if we do not act as one of urgency. There is a call today for visionary action, solidarity, multinational cooperation, and above all, transformation, and that our efforts must be equally reinforcing if we are to overcome them. Today, we are meeting at a juncture where the multiple impacts of the pandemic have been especially severe on the developing countries. The twin problems of access to vaccines and a reversal of development gains, even in countries where the pandemic has been relatively well managed, has placed the implementation of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development Goals at a considerable risk. We find ourselves in a situation where poverty, unemployment, and social exclusion continue to be rampant and unabated across the globe. This seems to be the new normal that we are forced to contend with. In a close second, social development is also undergoing challenging times due to a number of reasons, stemming from unequal access to vaccines, increased food insecurity and malnutrition, disruption of global healthcare systems, job losses, widening of gender employment gaps, digital divides, and many more. We must join forces and harness the potential of digital technology for speeding up the global transition to sustainable development that provides for inclusive respect to human rights and human dignity. Added to this, Mr. Chairman, ongoing conflicts on different parts of the world has had devastating impacts on the countries dependent on food imports from countries in conflict and thereby created food insecurity and shortages impacting the poorest and the most vulnerable people across the world. Against this backdrop, we fervently believe that the agreed theme for the 61st session of the Commission on Social Development, creating full and productive employment and decent work for all as a way of overcoming inequalities to accelerate the recovery from COVID-19 and the full implementation of the 2030 Agenda for Social Development, indeed a timely topic that the world should focus on. We commend the Secretary General's Common Agenda Report, which focuses on the depth of the issue that we are facing today in the context of social development. It is noteworthy that central focus has been in our common agenda to the core areas of social development, which include placing women and girls at the center improving digital cooperation and ensuring sustainable financing. We believe that successfully overcoming the triple issues of vaccine inequity, climate change, and overhaul of the morally bankrupt uh, international financial system is a sine qua non in building back better. Assisted by our bilateral partners and the COVAX facility, Sri, Lanka, nation, Sri Lanka's nationwide strategy of containment of COVID-19 has been largely successful and has been acknowledged as, as such by the World Health Organization. Mr. Chair, poverty and hunger are the twin outcomes of not just the pandemic and the new normal it has created, but also the inequities and power relations that continue to characterize our world today. As a developing country, Sri Lanka considers sustainability as the cornerstone of its national policy framework. In the above context, as a measure to safeguard the vulnerable segments of populations in the face of the looming economic crisis, the government has launched a number of programs which include the bolstering support to education, strengthening the health sector, and so on. We must appreciate that a new social contract must be drawn up to address the root causes of inequality and vulnerability, prioritize equal opportunities, and close the gaps between sustainable development goals. Mr. Chair, there is no time for hesitancy. We must exploit the triple crisis to our advantage as it reminds us of the substantial role the social development plays in protecting the lives of people and livelihoods 
as well as the very existence of our planet. Muchas gracias, Thank you very much, Ambassador.